we're back. Oh my gosh. I've never been here before. Into oh. this this plane. <laughs> Look who's here. In person. Whoa. Chris Walk oh is here gosh. for it crept from Eternia. It's been a long time, folks. This is only the fourth episode. <laughs> Of the crep from Eternia, but what a what a time to to be creeping from Eternia, huh, folks? Well, wow, this is uh, this is a wild this is a wild year for us, massive universe fans. It is, guys. It is. You know, it's interesting. It's you know, technically, it's the fortieth year this year. Hmm. Technically, okay. But tell them why. Well, because the he-Man, He-Man itself, Masters He-Man. of the Universe, was created in 1981. Okay. But things start didn't start hitting market until 82. So hmm. it looks like Mattel and those celebrating guys are next celebrating year. next year okay. for the 40th. But it is technically He-Man's birthday this year. Okay. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, but uh, so we'll celebrate again next year for the 40th anniversary. Yeah. We'll be on episode 5 by then, I'm sure. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> we will be. Um, but it's good that we're doing it now because there's a lot to talk about within the uh, Master's Realm. Yeah. Um, things are just revving up. We're on the precipice. Revving up that sky sled. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about just Master's of the Universe in general. Um, what's happening in the marketplace. Mm-hmm. Uh, the trailer. The trailer, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, which Casey should have watched the whole thing. I did. I oh, you did. I, okay, I you made him good, good, on the big screen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and Casey, just talk about Masters of the Universe in general with him because he, you know, he, it's, it's interesting how your memory is. Your memory is better about my love of Masters of the Universe than mine is. <laughs> and and then maybe because you were so young. I was a kid, man. You know? Um, and so I I can remember all the toys that you had. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, I'm a kid. I'm just playing with toys. Right. Because <laughs> I have all these toys. Yeah. But you must have loved them because you had a... I remember having... I mean, we'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll yeah, yeah. It. Um, but your seemingly reluctance to get back into He-Man <laughs> is bewildering to me. Um, that's so not really too much reluctance. So. Well, that's me pushing it out. Oh, there. right, okay. Uh, you know. So. Enabling Eternia? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. I'm, I'm getting more and more excited as we get closer to this new st- series. And when I see things come out, I'm like, oh yeah, I had that because I had a lot, uh, yeah, an awful lot when I was a kid. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, what do you want to talk about first? Well, I mean, yeah, we should just talk about your, uh, you know, <laughs> your weirdness towards this franchise. I think what it is is, you know, and maybe we've talked about it on the channel in general, but. For me, it was like they had He-Man, and I collected those toys as a little kid, and then it went away for 15 years or whatever, and then you have the 2000s version, which I watched, but that's one season, right? Uh Yeah. And then it goes away again for 20 years. The toys never went away in some iteration, and Mm -hmm. I was aware of that, but I was like, I don't remember like in a way you know it's not I always get weird not weirded but like Ghostbusters is another one of those franchises where I'm like how are you still carrying the torch when there was two movies really and then nothing for 30 years <laughs> and yet everyone's like oh man we got to get all these collectibles I'm like okay you know sure well because it was right? such a big cultural oh thing. I know I know uh, and even He-Man was. Well, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting what sticks and what doesn't. Yeah. But for you, um, all the things are there that you like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's an amalgamation of everything that is cool <laughs> and dope. 
Um, I, so for me, I, I guess over the years, I always felt like maybe it was too much of a overwhelming thing for you to like, I, listen, I like all these other things and I don't want to have to dip back into this, you know? I mean, it is like, it, clearly, you know, there's an amalgamation in this room of all the different franchises that I love. And it wasn't, I, I guess I felt, you know, because you, well, both of you, but it's definitely you would keep buying things when Super 7 or Mattel would come out with a new line, etc. No and I was just like, that's cool, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad that you're still holding on to that. Like, I bought, you know, a few of the toys from the 2000s version. Yeah. Actually, I, I bought most of them, actually. Yeah. But I think even then I was like, okay, I'm a little bit closer. But then 20, like, literally 20 years later, there's a couple comics that would come out and I would grab them and read them and like them. But there was really nothing for me to go other than okay yeah i guess i could go back and watch the cartoon it's not great so it was like well, i don't have that the movie is good because i saw it in the theater when i was a kid it's actually one of the first memories i have of being in the theater but that's not really he-man so it's like yeah. what do i have to really want to go down and start spending all this money on to reclaim it where until last year when i was like okay these look, ex you know, the, the classics line look exactly like they did from before, but they have more articulation. Um, they're not expensive. They're only 13 to 15 bucks if you can find them. Um, thank you. Um, you know what I mean? So then it was like, okay, this isn't breaking the bank. It also is, a, you know, for as much as I can say, like exactly like the original ones. They're not so, you know, they're not some artist interpretation because Super 7 and stuff like that were like, okay, these are good, but they're also stylized. So they're not exactly mm -hmm. the way that I remember. Um, so that's why, you know, end of last year and going into this year, I'm starting to start, you know, feel those feelings again, but it's just been very far removed. And that's, and that's why. Word. Yeah. So you don't remember the original series at all? <laughs> Watching it as a kid, Power Hour, not a bit? No, I mean... Le you know, my sister was into She-Ra, <laughs> I watched that too, and like, I have pictures of me dressed as He-Man, I have pictures of my fourth birthday, which is all He-Man, everything, I'm playing with Battle Cat, and you know, all the, uh, you know, whatever, decorations are all He-Man, like, yeah, I was, he and I remember him being in my grandma's basement, and then thinking about it when she passed away, because He-Man and Turtles were one and two for me mm -hmm. you know transformers came in and stuff like that but like those are the big ones and when she passed away i remember going in the basement and being like where are all those toys and i couldn't find them but turtles i've never stopped never stopped which mm -hmm. we'll we'll do an episode not on this but on the channel about turtles oh yeah <laughs> but uh yeah that's it so no i don't i don't remember it as much he remembers it more than i but so but that's my fourth birthday you know what i mean right. so it's like four, five, six, like, I just don't have those whole, you know, hard memories like he did. Yeah, it's fl like, being younger, it's like flashes of, of maybe three or four years old sitting mm -hmm. in front of the TV. I remember the toys because of pictures and videos. Um, but, like, you, it's funny you guys mentioned Ghostbusters, and, I mean, like, the real Ghostbusters was what really, like, kept that alive for me. So it was like, yeah. what age was that, though? That was definitely down mm -hmm. the line. Uh, real Ghostbusters was... 86 to 91. Okay. Yeah. And I had a lot vivid. of those too. I remember it even though I'm five, but yeah. But that's it. It's like that niche collecting, like niche group of people that really got into masks and still love it today. But like you said, that the fact that it's carried on for this long with very little in like new media and stuff. Yeah. And here we are in 2021. 40 years later. And it's 40 year old. The year of you know? Motu. Yeah. We're still the same in ways, but we have to work. But yeah. but we can afford to buy those toys. That's the thing. So, yeah, no, I... I so cribble. I'm not opposed to getting back into it and, and uh, you know, starting to relive some of those childhood memories, though. That's what we're doing now in our 40s. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Um... Do you have interest in like reading some of those comics? Oh, for sure. Like there was the the recent one, 
that you just did DC? you read, end up reading it? So yeah, so the Masters of the Multiverse. I didn't read Which that. took all the He-Man history. All He-Man. All right. And put it into this. But again, thing. how many issues is it? Twelve? It's, it's six, well, you can get a book. Six. Yeah. Okay. The book. The trade's like this. Yeah, so I would, I would read that. I remember, I think it was Wildstorm had one. I don't know. There was one in the, and it wasn't. DC had the, has had the license for a long time, and they restarted up that new series. Which right. Which is very, like high fantasy and, yeah, yeah. and action it was great i don't remember wildstorm though was there was one something? i you know it's in my long box somewhere but mm -hmm. so, someone did one yeah, to, yeah. you know maybe in the 2000s but it wasn't following the cartoon the 2000s cartoon it was just here's he-man and he's doing things and i i i had those yeah i had a bunch of them yeah but again they don't last you know maybe a year yeah you know if you're lucky yeah. i don't even know about two years because and like that again it's like people are spending hundreds thousands of dollars on these toys and stuff but i guess they don't want to read the comics they're not enough to make a new tv show until now it's like it's so fervent yet just like ghostbusters why does it take so long to get a new thing if so so many people are like there's a convention for he-man yeah how many other franchises have conventions like dedicated just to them that have had it for a while now right so just now in the you know the time of the that's heat, what i'm saying you know, it's yeah. very very interesting <laughs> to me let's carry this torch you remember those old episodes yeah me too uh. well i guess that's it <laughs> <laughs> let's break them all down one by one but yeah i mean there's people there's he-man fans out there who like live by that cartoon oh i mm -hmm. i know it boggles my mind um because <laughs> you were right i did, on my rewatch i started to watch she-ra and it is a superior show she is better it's so she is better it's cute cohesive i mean there is a story there for he-man i mean ultimately it's it's it ends up being tila's thing because tila ends up being like the sorcerer's daughter mm -hmm. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> Forty year old yeah. Forty year old spoilers. Yeah. Um You always knew a good episode based on who was writing it. You're like, this is gonna be a good lore episode. <laughs> yeah, but the problem with, you know, making six hundred and fifty five episodes yeah, right. of something is like yeah. you're gonna get a lot of just filler and buffoonery. Yeah. And that was a lot. Um plenty. <laughs> you know, that Everyone says, well, you know, the comics. Well, fuck you. you. You weren't reading the comics it, when you were little. The mini comics? You weren't. Yeah. yeah. You, you did, but come on. You don't don't, you're, you're a grown-ass man who's trying to, like, uh, bring some sort of credence to a cartoon that was to sell toys. So, come on. Do you have that mini comic book? The book book the with book all the mini comics? comics? Yeah. I, it's on my list. I picked it up. I was surprised at the um, size of it. <laughs> but there's great stuff in it. Mm -hmm. There is great stuff in it. Old but war. Aliens. But mm. give me a break. You, yes. You kids were not doing that. Uh, well, not wrapping my head around what they're doing at that age, for sure. No. So for the majority of people, uh, the majority of kids... <laughs> You're not getting the original story. <laughs> you were uh, hypnotized by the toys and then the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um but people really, you know, hold that up as some sort of crazy, right. intense thing, and, and, and I and I feel like it didn't even get to that until the the reboot, you know, the two thousand two cartoon where mm -hmm. they actually did. Okay, now it was a little more sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were older. <laughs> yeah, and we could appreciate um, the things we loved in a new. You know, a new way. I love that 2002 cartoon. Yeah. yeah. And they added yeah. new lore. They brought lore in that they wanted to do. Yeah. That they had yeah, yeah. set up. And finally, they're like, let's do King Grayskull. I need Stick to rewatch the real that. story. Because is mm -hmm. it a reboot or is it like a, a continuation? Okay. Yeah, it is not a continuation. Okay. So it's it a is just a retelling okay. of the whole thing. Whereas this new one is a continuation of what happened. Correct. Yeah. All right. And that yeah. new Dark Horse comic series is filling in the gaps between the old show 
and a new show. So we'll have some. Yeah, I gotta get that. But like, I see that the the digital version is coming out in July, but then the book version is in February. Yeah, which is weird. We for a, pre-ordered for a prequel book. cartoon. I mean, for a prequel comic. That you huh? need the story for? How does that even make any sense? But the cartoon is coming in July. Right. <laughs> so I double buy it. Plus the variants. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah. But uh yeah, I do remember, you know, the two thousand two thing was a big deal. Yeah. Um, and at the time, I think we talked about this, Chris, but at the time I definitely like loved the whole thing, the aesthetic, everything about it. Mm-hmm. But now, you know, as time went on, uh, and unfortunately, I had to sell my whole collection. I think, I mean, do you remember mm-hmm. that apartment? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was wall, and literally the, wall-to-wall toys. Walls were just filled with those Masters of the Universe And toys. Phantom Menace toys, yeah. It wasn't Phantom. It was Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Oh, I, the I just remember there was mm. tons of, of I those. like that packaging. <laughs> and I sold those, too. Mm-hmm. I didn't regret selling those. <laughs> I got rid of those pretty fast, um, but the those He Man I regretted. I made a lot of money yeah. selling them, and I had to for rent's sake. But uh, uh, I wish I didn't. But now, as a you know forty four year old, I uh, some of those uh, some of those designs I don't like. Well, I don't. Um, and I'm glad that uh, I don't have them anymore. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that in this new iteration, they didn't do anything like that. They just kind of updated um, the, old ones. the old cartoon and just kind of bulked them up a little bit. They didn't really like change the, the costumes or the aesthetic or like have tiny waists and giant fucking <laughs> <laughs> upper bodies. Well... And, this and then a little head and yeah, giant yeah. bodies yeah but hey to each their own you know yeah. people love that line before um, articulation especially got really popular i would say they're only five points right yeah it's like right before it was yeah, right at the beginning of like marvel this. legends time right around spider-man classics time so it's just kind of like well, do you want Toy biz is already out with articulation at that time right then yeah doing setting the standard right. so i mean they were going on, on the look of the old five poem, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But, you know, with Four Horsemen design, and then we saw, the, I showed you those statues they did uh, for NECA, which, you know, fill in the blanks of some figures. <laughs> Beautiful figures. Yeah, um, yeah I, liked, I liked that line. I still have all of them that I did buy, but mm-hmm. I didn't get super deep into it. Um, vehicles and whatnot for Grayskull or anything like that. But it was good. It was cool. I find it funny that, you know, when we started, when we did the first episode of this particular show, you were like, yeah, you know, I'm not really going to get those toys. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the classics? I have to say the, that kind no, of the, stuff. the origins. The, or, sorry, yeah, the origins, yeah. Oh, I remember you saying that. No, I don't need them. And then like, after that know. episode, you were like, hmm, hmm. Where where do you find these? Where where do you get them? Can you look out for this? Because I kept telling you, oh, the articulation is so good. You can pose them this way yeah. and that way, and it's I really love these toys. And now you, I think you have pretty much all of them. He gave me the demo, and then in, <laughs> and then after, everything is on pre order. I have everything so far, except for that flock panther. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's I'm just like, it was the floodgates, and I have to tell myself these things about collectibles, especially Motu. Don't you know? Be cautious. Be cautious. <laughs> But it was the same thing, like, I always felt like I missed out on the classics line. I really, I don't know why I didn't get into that. I have some, but I don't know, I was collecting something else at the time, so I didn't free up funds, I don't know. It was a big regret, of, I have a big regret of mine, at least on a, on a good chunk of those. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, it's... How much of those? 40? 30, 35 at the time. Yeah, it's it's insane. Much. But you had to buy all four. Yeah. At that point still, you know, it was like that, that sub collector. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you doing that and being like I got more power to you. I cannot believe how people spend on those classics. Like what they're know, worth now? Three hundred yeah. some figures in that line, like and everybody has them. Three hundred? Yeah, there's like so many I have a poster of figures. most of them. And it's like 
it's crazy. And it's like really obscure because That's they went in Princess thousands of, of dollars. Princess of Power. <laughs> they went into like like unproduced things, many different aspects of the whole franchise, and it was just it's amazing. But yeah, it's it's staggering. It was an investment. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed this. These origins, mm -hmm. I really because for me, it is so close to what we had, and yet new. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and they're touching on other things like this new evil in is from Masters Tool two thousand X. And yeah, there's oh, some yeah. other like yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. that Keldor and, and Chronos two pack. And so they do these neat little things that are collector friendly. Um, yeah. and but still giving you the great um, classic look for all the other figures. I am I got it. I like I can't like praise the new toys enough. I really yeah, I really mm -hmm. love them. Uh, I just got Fisto in the mail. Oh, yeah, a couple days ago right. and he was like instantly posable yeah i mean like <laughs> i took him out and i was just like moving him all these different ways and i was like oh my god like we just didn't we couldn't even imagine <laughs> you know well it was like and as a kid spend half an hour to try to stand you and not have you fall <laughs> over Yep. As a kid, we didn't care, but yeah. our imagination would be like, man, if we could only you know, do this or put him this way or fit him to do this. And now it's, I was like having him do all these things. And his, yeah. I was like, oh my God. But if you look at the Fisto toy, I mean, he looks so much like the original toy. Mm -hmm. It's it's just really, really cool. Um, and they don't break the bank. No, they don't. Not That's at all. That's the best part about it. You know? I mean, listen, uh, the rollout is really weird. Um, I don't understand. Sucks. I really don't understand really what's sucks. happening yeah. with the rollout um, and why Walmarts still only have Season the one? first wave. That's it. It's, it is so bizarre. It's always, it's always happened, though, with, with action figures since Toys R Us has gone out and things like that because they don't have people who understand how to move the toys or but let's, let's not get any more because all these he-mans and skeletons are on our shelves so people aren't buying them so yeah. let's not cut let's cut back on our orders and then they're gone let's get wave five and then you skip <laughs> all the middle <laughs> it's like he needs wave two bro i need some wave two you still know? i need like a, one or two figures from it i still need a couple from wave three but yeah. I'm wave i probably four, right? should <laughs> just buy all of wave i should just get <laughs> everything now and then try to get the other ones yeah they literally don't absolutely release the other waves no yet. well no like it's so I've never seen like them. uh target was was wonky as well you know yeah. um target had like wave three now has little bits of wave four uh it's, it's so maybe a use i've never even seen those. well that was that one day i was lucky yeah like, i, I think i've seen like target. scare glow no i had i never seen physically even glow. seen him never just in that picture yeah I <laughs> oh, when i bought him yeah you know uh -huh. i am not a big trust in the big uh the brick and mortar stores uh that we have these days so i am just like if you can get if you can get it through entertainment earth or something like that big bad toy store I'm pre-ordering it and just having faith Waiting. that bills come. I'll wait <laughs> because I know At least I'll you have know it. you're getting it. And it's like yeah. you know, with everything that happened in the last year and a half, and not being able to go out. At least you know I live in a very populated area, um, so I, I could not go and pursue any plastic. Um, but when that Kronos and um, Keldor pack came out, that was the first time I went hunting in like a year, and it was like invigorating. <laughs> it was so exciting <laughs> to go there and be like. You I still have haven't this? seen that on the shelves. It doesn't go on shelves. And I see and I see pictures yeah. all the time. People are like, look what I found. They're all unpunched, like, too. And they're five in a row. You need to go to Canada. I hate that like, shit. What the fuck? Like, once the borders that. open up, let's just go to... Because Canada seems to have everything. Oh, I want to go to Canada Toys R Us. Canada and like, Mexico exactly. seem to, to have that everything. that Toys R Us, man. Yeah. Well, there's one... Yeah, right... It's not right across the border, but it's not too far away. No, I know. I want to go there. closer to you guys, huh? Oh, yeah. Ontario? Yeah, we awesome. could go there. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's bonkers though. But it's yeah, just... and I had to order that Fisto and my Ram Man. You got those off Big Bad? No, I got them off of Amazon. Oh, off Amazon. For, yeah. They do pop up sometimes. Yeah, but not like, that much now. more. Right. Uh, my Fisto was 16 bucks. Oh, okay. Well, that's not Free bad. shipping? 
Yeah, and yeah. Ram Man. Well, Ram Man was about ten dollars more like than it is. Thirty bucks. It was thirty bucks, but yeah, it's such a great figure. Most of the figures are great. Extra heads, extra sets, yeah. waves. Like the fact that they give you like the original He Man head with battle damage He Man, like that kind of stuff. I love. Um, I pay for it. But uh, yeah, I'm really so. And when you know they've showed off some of the waves that are coming and the figures that are coming. And it's just like, man, they're really like, they're really redoing everything that we had back then. Yeah. Um, and then when people be like, what do you mean Mosquito looks like this? Yeah. And then they'll be like, look at the mini comic. This is what he looks like. So we're designing like this. Stop complaining. <laughs> yeah. But Axel tell you what's up. I just want to <laughs> get them. I just want to hold them. Well. I guess we gotta go to East Aurora. <laughs> guess we gotta go. Wow, well, don't listen to that. Cut that part out. Uh, no, one, no one from Buffalo listens to our show, watches our show. Nor do they know where to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also true. Insider secrets. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Mm hmm. Um, sure. So, yeah, so we got the cartoon coming. Mm -hmm. July 23rd. One, two <sighs> cartoons. Well, yeah, I don't first, know when that second one's coming out, and uh, that one is clearly uh, kids cartoon. a kids thing, and it's uh, its own thing. They have totally like redesigned. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They they really did like a two thousand two thing. They do. It. it looks very kind of similar to that in some aspects, um, I think. And I will check it out, but I'm not going to be some whiny forty four year old going. Well, this is this isn't my He Man. Exactly, it's not my He Man. This is for... But like Kevin Smith should be. That is. That's what I mean, yeah. like, shut people up still about the other people, like, people are still complaining. I'll still uh, watch that it's one. It's woke. Religious. You know, oh, Tila, she's buff. Oh, it's going to be Tila's show. All this stuff, blah, blah, Motu blah. is woke I, to I, begin I, with. I can't believe the idiots that are complaining about this already. It's, uh, it's just so bizarre to me. Can I touch on that? Because when I when I Fans love that, to hate what they love. But it's like... If they really loved it, they would understand that Tila was a strong female character to be in with, and that's what they, they wrote her. That. Exactly. So what do you complain about? And a lot of these people who are bitching weren't even there. Right. Then. Oh, they're like you know, ten years younger than us. Yeah. Mm. We're fucking born when it was out. Like shut mm. the fuck up. <laughs> it's a cartoon. Right. It's also a cartoon. It's Jesus not a religion. Christ. Well, maybe. <laughs> it's um, not Star Wars. But so, what do you guys think <laughs> of this? Ta this. Uh, teaser trailer that they unleashed i need a hero <laughs> right away <laughs> um i was i was blown away honestly i um just seeing it and i love powerhouse creative and what they've done uh with castlevania and other shows and i was really excited to see how they would do the designs for this and i was like you i was like should i watch this trailer do i want but it was just like so action-packed and that's what i liked about it my favorite thing was when he-man rides on stridor with its cloak and uncloaks <laughs> and it just from there it's just oh boy here we go <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh it's, like it, <laughs> it's crazy it's just crazy and the the voice cast is obviously top notch um it's only five episodes this first for the first part, part. yeah five? five five episodes for the first part mm -hmm. and then five for the second which yes. will be when like four months later or I don't something know. like that yeah I don't know. so probably um, winter yeah, yeah, probably winter. When they first announced it, did they wasn't it? They're like it's just going to be six episodes or something. Like that. I thought it was um, set. To I, don't know. I was in the impression that it was not going to be a very long series. And then when they said part one, I was like, yes. Yeah, it's a ten episode mm -hmm. series. Cool. Yeah. Um, I guess <laughs> the uh, you know the attorney and landscape will really change after this. <laughs> after this this uh, this season. Uh, do you think they would do more? I after? think if it's successful, right. they absolutely, especially with the head of uh, Netflix. Netflix being being the guy who was like, uh, yeah, we're doing this. He's a huge Motu fan. He's got uh, a huge collection. Well, nice. He's the one who told Kevin Smith to don't make fun of it. Take it seriously. Like, yeah. You know. This is this is my religion. <laughs> you may be Kevin Smith, but you'll never work again. Um, huh. So, yeah, I'll, it's also going to be interesting to see what Kevin Smith does with it. 
because Kevin Smith has taken things like Green Arrow um, and done amazing things with it. What did he do? The question as well, I think he did. I don't remember the question. I remember his Batman, his two Batman comics were yeah, great. Yeah, those um, are good. Spider-Man, when it didn't, didn't end, but yeah, he did probably going to have to come over a little more. Uh, but uh, that's it. You know what I mean? Like when it's something that's not his own, uh, Black Cat, he did. That's right. He was Spider-Man Black Cat. Very good. You know what I mean? But Kevin Smith also can be really shitty, even yeah. though I love Kevin Smith. So it's, I have faith. I do. But I'm also, like, cautiously optimistic. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't, like, the fucking... He wasn't writing every episode. He's not. Yeah, I mean, no, he's, he's a, a showrunner. Show okay. And that's the yeah. thing, too, is, like, people keep bringing up this tweet from him that says, I'm not really a Mochu fan. And he said that in, like, 2010. People, like, hit me on my net. And I was just like, he's a showrunner. He's a successful Hollywood guy. These other people are going to be writing it. I mean, Tim Burton isn't a Batman fan, and they're the two best Batman <laughs> So, I don't, that kind of stuff I don't give a shit about. No. I just, you know. His energy. People want to whine about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. everything. Exactly. Yeah. That's the internet. Yeah. Would it matter if they liked it? Guess what? There's a lot of people who are behind franchises you love that fucked up those franchises. But they loved them. Uh, right. Rob Zombie. <laughs> but, yeah. So, <laughs> <that's crazy. laughs> well, you know. Uh, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. He yeah. loved Star Wars. But guess what, fans? He gave you that. Yeah. So shut yeah. the fuck up. Right. So it might be better if he doesn't love it. <laughs> mm. yeah. um, but the trailer is fantastic. Actually. I didn't watch it all at first because I was good enough just watching half of it, and then you made me watch the Well, it's rest nothing. And... There's a second one coming. Oh, oh yeah, the story one. trailer. The story one. Cool. No, they I gave us the action, that. and they gave us the yeah, story, and then that they're going to give us the story one. Okay. Right, because it's only five episodes. It seems a little spoilery. It's going to be a full story trailer. You know what, though? I think about like that first season of Castlevania is four episodes. It's true. And they do a very good job in those four episodes to give you the trajectory of that series. And it's very... I mean, I've watched it multiple times. It's very good. So if in five episodes, even she you know, when they did those five episodes, I was like, okay, Sweet. I'm totally in. Like, yeah. Let's see what you guys want to do with this. So... That's okay. Half hour, you know. Better than 25 episodes with Puffer Pigs. Yeah, yeah. It's better than a bunch of fluff episodes where we just don't care. care. It's the just, carnival. They fight. <laughs> ah, see ya. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, <laughs> I'd rather not have that. Will he say that? I'm sure he will. Um, I think just, I would hope so, just as a... A wink and a yeah. fun little thing to all the, the fans, you know? Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> I gotta tell you, Skeletor sucks. <laughs> I mean, he really does. I mean, you're you're kidding yourself. You, you've got your Eternia-colored glasses on if you think Skeletor is an evil presence. <laughs> he is not. Um, they made up for that in the 2002 version, yep. but... Skeletor is a fool and all of his henchmen are fools like he wasn't scary and even as a kid we knew that like I knew that He-Man and his friends were always going to kick their ass always mm -hmm. there was never any I never personally felt like He-Man was in danger <laughs> um, you know I laughed at Skeletor I laughed at his fools you know uh so listen, make him. I hope Skeletor is a is a badass, is a presence of yeah, evilness. That's uh, I really, really am. Hoping and again, that. that's why probably another reason I loved Shira so much was because Hordak was evil. You know, there was yeah, there's some goofiness in there, <laughs> but he ain't Skeletor. You know, he's not. Oh God, what are you doing? <laughs> you know. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Come on. Um, his look is great, right? Yeah. Um, but it, you know, you put a gun to my head, I'm gonna pick the 2002 version of Skeletor over the original filmation Skeletor. Mm -hmm. Love the voice and all that stuff. It is a classic and everything, and but come on, is this new one rated anything differently? 
It's rated X. Okay. But it's like hente. <laughs> oh, that's that's Orko's power move. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of tentacle penis rape. Mm, mm -hmm. You know. That's that's canon. <laughs> that's that is called he place man. Yeah. <laughs> They're always coming up to the greats. That's pure he man. I wonder if they'll get Dolph Lundgren to do a voice. Maybe. King Greystone. Maybe he's uh, funny, maybe yeah. it's a secret uh, that nobody knows. Yeah. You know, maybe they did get him. I wouldn't be surprised. It would be fun. Probably yeah. Corning Cox for sure is coming back. Of course. <laughs> this is all for if season two happens. Yeah. Um, but I, for one, was very excited. I, I, I watched that <laughs> teaser over and over and over <laughs> and over again. I got goosebumps. I was smiling. I was like, Sing Laura Brown again. This is, <laughs> this is great. You yeah. Know? Everyone's like, we're bait and switch. It's not about He Man. It's going to be about Tila and blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm like, who cares what it's about? This is a new Masters the of the Universe. Masters Car of the Universe. It doesn't, you know what I mean? That's what it's called. And that's yeah. the point. Is like, I've always called it Masters because it's everybody. But but again, who cares? No, I love. If you're getting ensembles. all of these characters, yes. what the fuck does it matter? And characters we didn't get before. Yes. Like scary. Like yes. Lost and all these, <laughs> yeah. all these toys. Yeah. That were cool. not in cartoon form for that original iteration. Like, yeah. that was exciting to see as well. Toxic Avenger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toxic. Van Brunt. Yeah. Teenage. They're all there. <laughs> Bubbles. Masters uh, of the LPV universe. <laughs> That'll be the cartoon. Yeah. That's the comic. There we go. That'd be great. That's the comic. That's so funny. Masters of the Seaververse. <laughs> That's how I would do a comic. Case. Would you? Okay, well, I'll yeah. start running. We can bring all go. those characters together. Like the wacky world. characters. Well, of course. You, know? yeah. mm -hmm. you guys heard it here first. Chris said he'll do a comic <laughs> finally. After yeah. Pushing Celebrate it. Celebrate the 30th anniversary. The right way. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, I hope it's, uh, it looks crazy. It looks I think it's really going to be a success. I think there's going to be a lot of people who complain, but I think there's going to be more people who love it. Don't read the comments. It, well, you know what? It doesn't matter about the people who complain because they always are this much. I mean, yeah. The Last Jedi still made billions of dollars, so I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, you can complain all you want, and even I have my problems with it. doesn't mean I Definitely. stopped watching it. I'll never watch it again. It's, it does reboot the sequels <laughs> like i'm never gonna say that children yeah so even this like if it brings in new viewers and that's Netflix, you know, then and i don't care what you say i don't ever care what you say anyway <laughs> yeah like it's uh that's another thing that has bugged me and i think we talked about it as well chris is that like these people who are like this is you know they say that it's for a new generation no this is for us and blah 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 like, you, they know what they're doing. They're marketing towards us. They're doing it for both. Yes. Like, and they know it. I mean, they're ultimately, not trying they're to trying to make it. money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They are They're business. not hiding the fact that they are, they want to feed on us 40-somethings yeah. who love the franchise. And our but children. give me a fucking break if you think that it is also not for kids. Yes, it's fucking for kids. The, the the whole point is to hopefully grow a new generation of fans. And if you say no one is going to... I've read so many things where people are like, no one's going to be interest, interested in something like this. How the fuck do you know? Like, how the fuck... Guess what? Pastor Thomas. Who, who was out there saying in 82, 81, no, no kid is going to be interested in this? Guess what? We were fucking kids and we were interested in it. Yeah. We liked what we saw. Like... Batman 89. This is horrible. No one's gonna watch this. This is the. Uh, I have three Blu rays of it now. <laughs> well, it's just like, yeah. come on, guys. Like, yes, it absolutely is for old generation and new generation. Yeah. And I love it. I love it. I love the fact that there are already kids out there now who us 40 something year old fathers are showing them he-man they're like holy shit this is great and that kid you know 40 years from now is gonna be like man remember he-man like that's yeah. exciting yeah. And, it, and it's going to be there for someone yep regardless of what you say you cynical turd like it doesn't matter enjoy it 
you can enjoy it and let some five-year-old enjoy it. And if they enjoy it, it's going to be long-lasting. And you want that, don't you? Or do you want He-Man to die now in 2021 and be it? And it's never, never going to die. Yeah. Right. But if that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like, is that the goal? I, I, I don't understand. Do you think this will get them to finally get this movie I, sorted out? <laughs> I, was, I wasn't surprised they... They that this has kind of fallen apart at this point to see what happens on Netflix because yeah. with look at the '80s movie it's it's so divisive um, wow. and we all enjoy it for what it is but do you do you go like what is the idea to put it on the big screen let's try the small screen first where it's been very popular what if you make a movie for Netflix you know eventually that's, that's what I like think that. I think like how about just do it for Netflix mm -hmm. make well, the movie for chance. Netflix you know, you know what I mean like. How much would they spend on that? Well, Netflix. I mean, Netflix has spent Come on. hundreds of millions. You know, Michael Bay. If they'll do it for a fucking yeah. puppet show. What? the Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. If they'll throw money at fucking the Jim Henson. No, thing. no, I know, but that's a full series. Like, you think they would do a movie? Why not? Or as opposed to, like, a live action. Or both, right? Thing. Like, I, I would have to think that they are probably thinking that as well. You let's know? see, let's test. If we're going to have these cartoon. two cartoons now right. coming out yeah. at Netflix, why not make the movie exclusively for Netflix? Mm -hmm. You know? Let's see what the merchandise The does. risk is, it's less risk. Yeah. Well, you know what we didn't talk about the other day, but it will tie into this. I, I saw at the gas station pump that Netflix is finally opening up a merchandising store oh, online. Yeah. So they're going to finally start merchandising for all the fucking things they own. Some of that we've been Thank talking you. about for years. Yeah. Because it's really Stranger Things. <laughs> Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Black yeah. occasionally. And like they that's it. two seasons of their Daredevil out. Oh, stuff? Yeah. 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 But that's you know, Marvel Disney. But that's Marvel you Disney. Know. You know, I think they were the ones who probably were like, hey, you should probably make some toys out of this. Dark Crystal did some stuff, but it wasn't Netflix doing it? No. Right. So, oh, uh, well... I mean, I mean, they tied all know, right? it was yeah. tied in. Yeah. Okay. So I would imagine I do have those dark Christmas. Ones. You know, like let's start merchandising the shit out, out of, especially if it's based off of a. Well, based clearly, off of a toy. look at Mattel. Yeah. I mean, they are all in. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. Which just, they should be. Yeah, He Man is back. He Man right. is back. <laughs> but if you're gonna go and sell all these toys, you know, get get T-shirts. Get absolutely. Hats, get yes. absolutely floaties. You know what I mean? Like get well, really true. You can get he stranger floaty things arms. And hell yeah. You know what I mean? Give me my. Well, we are getting a Motu uh, role playing game, but yes. and, but, I mean? but yes. yeah, they believe me. The, I think they have a couple years of merchandise planned for right. this rollout. You know what I mean? But with that, both of them take that money injection. And, and turn it into yeah, turn it into a, a live action something. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Something. If, if I would be happy with a show, a live action show. I'd be happy. Hell yeah. I'd actually be happier with a show at this point because now shows are in some ways the superior to the movie. Yeah. Right. You get that long version, you know, right. story talk. So I, and I to see exactly. that, like, oof. man, yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. <laughs> it's exciting times. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, for it, I'm excited. You know, I uh, it, the the cartoon comes out during Gash Bash, Gash Bash uh, so I won't be able so to watch, watch it, it until. <laughs> so dedicate a day to it. Gash well, Bash. well, I'm doing going it to like, on my birthday. Oh, okay, That's when when point. most of the people are gone, I am just gonna binge those five episodes over and over, um, and then do whatever the hell I want. Hopefully, there's still people around, uh, stragglers who will, still, mm -hmm. who will enjoy it as well with me. But um, yeah, I'm excited for that to just block off. Time you know, have the it. home sit in the home theater and just hit play. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, soak up Eternian magic. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm excited for that. But uh, yeah, and it's and again, I think with the whole vintage nostalgia thing, it's it's great. As much as we give shit for the, you know, only wave one we see in stores, it's still really fucking cool to see Masters of the Universe yes. 
back on the shelf. Same with the real Ghostbusters stuff yes. that's out oh, there. Like, for sure. That's that's awesome. It's really cool. It's very, it's very cool. really cool and it's what I wanted. How much did I bitch for years to both of you guys like fuck Super Seven, fuck <laughs> like yeah. fuck Maddie, like I don't want to spend yeah, like why are they doing these dollars online and, exclusives yeah. only? You're right. I was always like Masters should be in retail stores. Like and now it is. And now you can go to FYE and there's a whole section that's just Masters of the Universe. Like, yeah. That's so cool. If you can find an FYE, yes. I have one. <laughs> well, we no, we now. do. I'm just I need to go. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got two now. Yeah. And I I did see it. What what kind of stuff is in there? I mean it's it's not huge. They do have some of the toys. They have um new wrapping paper. <laughs> uh mm. they have the graphic novel. They have um um which Casey, me, and Chad are gonna do. They have these like hot sauces. These oh yeah, hot we're gonna sauces. do those. Hot sauce challenge. We're gonna challenge. try the challenge. <laughs> the Stay day. tuned, guys, for that Four episode. Different <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. Of idea. course, the chocolate bars. <laughs> we fun. Uh, all that stuff. Um, so it it could the be fisto bigger. dildo, but it's it's there. <laughs> fisto fisted. Um, yeah, it's giant. It's huge. It's, a, <laughs> <laughs> it's like cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> right hand of doom. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> uh, wow, man, this goes right hand of Blizzio. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think the next step will be to start. I would like to reread the comics and get more back into the lore of it all. I know you have that thick ass book, or wait, you just have the toy book. Well, I also have the. I've got the other. Or maybe you do too. I have the newspaper comics one, and I have the the mini comic book. Those are the two ones I have. I have the one about the 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 whole lore. Of That's what I have. Of, okay. The other that, that I still need to get thick that ass one. book, yeah. which I need to just probably just start reading that. Yeah, I'm only, <laughs> I'm because... still only like ten pages into that toy one, the new toy one that came out. Well, and it's organized like complete garbage it is organized is it? weird. it's organized it's alphabetically uh, but it's like it like should be chronological okay it's it totally should be chronological mm -hmm. but you open it up and it starts with like a figure that was like in 1987 yeah so that's why yeah, it's just like, very like well how does this connect to this line i don't know because i'd have to go it should be by waves that's right. it right, yeah, it's down but whatever it's still <laughs> it's still great cool that we have yeah, it's it. great um and uh Give me more. Give me more He-Man. Uh, you know. Maybe we can review that comic when it comes out. The new one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to get it digitally. I'll get it digitally. Well, yeah. I'll go on the dark. I'll absolutely, yeah, exactly. Dark Beep. web and get that. <laughs> yeah. Bleep. <laughs> well, it's not like I didn't, or I mean, I ordered t uh, two copies, a variant and a regular of the, of the regular That's my justification. Yeah, so. I, I mean, don't touch my comic. Thank you. Look at this. I don't. Very good graded. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good time to be a to be a Motu fan. Yeah. What do you? I mean, anything else, Chris? What do you gotta? I, I don't. Um, like we all said, it's just it's great to be here together and talk about He Man. Yeah. It's been such a such a virtual like past year, and you know the excitement of like we've always been big kids. And this is just, you know, a, a, a treat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The eighties are never dying. And they should hope not. No. I said the All the day. best franchises are from the eighties. Yeah, I love it. I love so, it. I mean, really. If you didn't live through the eighties as a kid or were born in the eighties, you're missing out on something in your life. Like Well, I mean at, at that age. At, at that age, that but I mean age. I do like the people who can appreciate the things like mm -hmm. i'm not like i understand there are those people who didn't live at that time they're born in the 2000s or something right. and, but they appreciate it for that exactly. i'm like same thing like well listen, oh you didn't listen to that music back then well okay but you like it but so they're i'm not gonna give you a fucking but they're enjoying everything that was from that i know, you know what I mean? which like, i'm saying like i'm okay with those people enjoying yeah. it it's the people who are like this is stupid well, why would you shit on it like you don't know don't you have no idea it. A douche yeah. of any age. Well, the 90s stuff. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. And subscribe. Yeah. Tell us what. Oh toys... wait, wait, wait! Before oh, uh, before we go, is there a figure 
that you definitely want. I mean, I know you. Well, I want Orco. Orco. Yeah. I mean, you have to get it. Yeah. For me, like, what's missing from my collection at this point, like, from the waves that are out? I just, I guess, like, coming for the Orco. Is there anything oh. that he hasn't got? I want, no. I want, <laughs> I want Strider. I need a Strider. A new Strider. Um, a new, new Strider. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. That'd be cool. For sure. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. I got my land shark. Well, the one will be articulated. Comes, you know it will. Right. You know you'll actually be able to move the legs yeah. this time. Yeah. The, like, the joint jointed joint. Enchantress wow. comes with the gray skull, right? The sorceress? sorceress? Yes. Or is it, White, uh, the white sorceress costume. Yes. Not, that, not Ooh, even the, the other one's not out. Yeah. The orange the, and blue and white. Yes, I'm sure they will. Really. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they made multiple people wins. <laughs> I mean, I definitely want Snarf. That'd be great. <laughs> Telly Hawk. Anyway, <laughs> what do you want? Um. Oh. Uh. As far as vehicles, I want the battle ram. I want oh, to mm. make a new battle ram. Yeah. But it looks like the battle ram that I grew up with, and they're basically halfway there, because the sky sled is the front of the battle ram. Right. <laughs> um. Right. I love that. I love. I want them to make a new. Uh, uh, ro the the rotor the you mean rotan rotan rotan. I love rotan rotan that's what my favorites too oh I want snake and mountain. it's in the cartoon yes they'll do snake mountain I think, I think I'd not there's it's no there's no one way that they won't do snake because if you can do castle grayskull and it's eighty bucks yeah. seventy five eighty bucks they'll sell that all day exactly as opposed and even the seven hundred one dollar one from Super Seven sold out beautiful that thing is. I just couldn't do it. If I massive, reach, I just would do massive, it. massive. I love my classic gray skull, but I want. But that. would you have opened it? What? The one from Super Seven? Oh yeah. I would have. What do you mean? I don't know. know. I opened my gray skull. In a fucking box? <laughs> no. Hell no. That box is too big. <laughs> <laughs> the box would be in the garage, just like the gray skull. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. The whole box thing doesn't appeal to me mm. at all anymore. I, I I just don't understand it unless you are going to sell it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not selling my toys anymore. Yeah. I'm done. Like, I want them open. I want them posed. I want mm -hmm. to display them. Fucking throw the box away. I, I know you guys aren't like that. I, no, no, we keep those boxes. No. I, I, <laughs> you know, I just don't care. It because depends. I am not going to sell it. Yeah. You know? But I am there. I am buying it for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not I mean, buying it to sell it for somebody if else. If it's like these DC multi-universe you know what I mean like I'm not keeping that fucking box so there's no, no way I would keep that oh. <laughs> snake mountain in its box like no fucking way it would have its own shelf yeah, yeah I have it. to get <laughs> it out say, entertainment it. center <laughs> entertainment center yeah wow. the thing is, <laughs> I mean would, if huge. you got Jabba's sail barge would you keep that in the box no, I would try to figure out how to Hook it up. To well, you'd my, want to yeah. to, my, to it. my ceiling. You no. want to put characters yeah, on it. I want, want to, to, I want to design Come on. it. I want to, Come on. Yeah, absolutely. I get it. Absolutely. It just a break. No, I just got to make room for all this stuff to buy now. <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> flip, flip to display. <laughs> you know, I, I could get that. You know, because Katie has been like, Katie usually spends about a grand on me for. Christmas or birthdays or whatever, and I've said, well, the only thing I want is that sail barge. And she's like, where, where are we gonna put it? We have no place to put it. Where are we gonna put it? And she's right. I have, n I have absolutely no idea. But it, it hang like you would, I would mount it to the ceiling. It, that I mean, was, that is the way I would display it. You'd have I would to mount get some it. sort of industrial. I would. <laughs> I figure. I would ask someone like, listen. You know, I'm getting like. You break this, you will be paying me the amount that's due, but you need to professionally, just like my TV, yeah. professionally get it yeah. mounted you could somewhere. Absolutely. absolutely. Someone would be able to do it, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's funny, like, my classics Grey Skull is it's, it's much bigger than this new one, but those these origin figures look awesome. Yeah. Because it's like, it's scaled perfectly for that. Because even those classics are too But big. I don't know, yeah, like, where are you going to put Grey Skull? When you have it, this new it? little one. Yeah, it's not big. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. I, I can figure it out. Yeah, um, that's why I want that new Snake Mountain. The this one. But yeah, you'd want them 
like both together. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. If I, mm -hmm. if you know, if I Opposite had sexual. the money, I would get that <laughs> classics gray skull. It's beautiful. It's I would because uh, it's awesome. I can't believe I wanted that big bird at the time and how much things have gone up. How much was it? Well, wasn't it five hundred? No, was it three hundred? Oh, really? Three hundred fifty bucks, maybe. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it? No, that's what, what is like, it boom. now? Yeah, it's like, it's like 600. Like, oh, what? Okay. It's only 600? I think I saw it only like 600. I, I may mean, be wrong. If it was like 50, I don't know. But Snake Mountain was priced out at 700. Oh, so yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. that's going to be like right. 1400 bucks now. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Like the sales average. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now like the Razor Crest. I, yeah, you <laughs> know, those things are always like, because here's the thing. I don't know if I would be able to justify spending that amount of money to keep it for myself unless it's a hot toy. Like, I feel it's like it's going to be worth so much more. And, like, should I hold on to it? I don't know. Well, I don't understand your, your reasoning, though. I, That's so silly to me. If you like it, yeah. why don't you buy it for you? That's so bizarre. Because I'm like, no, I want to buy the money going to be it worth it. more? <laughs> but so that like, I can buy other things. That's why. But then you don't want that? Yeah, I want so it, clearly but, I you might, don't want but I might want all these other things more. To combined. I don't know. I, I buy things that I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I, can't, I can't relate. I know. I can't relate. I get it with you. You, you have like a store. <laughs> you I have <know>. a plan. <laughs> You're investing, you know. He's got a future. <laughs> investing for retirement. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so yeah, tell us He Man. About, tell us about your He Man toys. What are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to this new show? Yeah, shows. How many complaints do you have? Oh, don't do oh, that. We'll erase them. No, <laughs> I. But I am interested to hear what uh, people are. What are they? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. It's a month, a little over a month away. So, depending on when you're watching this episode. Great time to be alive. Yeah. Uh, great time to be a Motu fan. We have the power. We do have the power. And hopefully Casey will have the power soon. It's, it's, it's got building inside there. Him. <laughs> yeah, it's growing. Soon I'll have the power. <laughs> yeah. I can see it growing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, growing leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was episode four of It Crept from Eternia. We'll see you in about five years for episode five. Uh, you guys have a good time. Yeah. We're going to go have a good time. Woo! Bye! Bye!